So I think this morning we're going to start off with the foundation. I usually don't apply my foundation first, but I have started doing that. Now I'm going back to that, and I think it's best for me. So I'm going to be working with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and this is in Soft Sable. And I wore this yesterday. This is not my first time using it. It is a great foundation. So we're going to dab some of that on there. I hope the camera picks up the color. Sometimes I do foundation videos and the color doesn't always come out, but in real life, this color is just perfect. I primed my face with the uh, Philips Milk of Magnesia. So I have a little whitish cast going on, but it works really well under the foundation. Keeps my skin really matte all day. This makeup gives a really nice finish, and I love matte. start the eyes, I'm going to take Sugar Pills Looming Pigment. And Looming is, it looks white, but it's very iridescent. Let's put that in the inner corner. I'm wearing a blue top today. It's blue, kind of multi, green, yellow, black, white. And I know I shouldn't be matchy matchy, but I just feel like blue today. And as you can see, the Lumi kind of comes off blue. But if you look closely at it, it's a lot of different colors. And then I'm taking Sugar Pills Magpie. In the container, it's kind of a smoky teal. I mean, it's just this really beautiful, smoky blue. Just to give a nice bridge color, let me go with um, ColourPop's Hustle.
it's just blending, blending, and then trying to find the balance between the two. Okay. Then I'm going to take Max Pigment in Dark Soul. And just a touch of that. in the very corner. touch back up on Magpie. Don't want to lose that. And I may even go back with a little more Lumi. in my drawer here. I'm going to take my MAC palette and I'm using Wedge now as that color I used to use for my Sephora shadow. And it's more of a skin color for me. I, do, I still love the Sephora, but I found that over time it was just making that area kind of white and it just looked strange. Isn't it funny how you can use a color for years and or for months and feel perfectly fine with it, but there's one day it just doesn't look right. You just see it differently. Sorry, Sephora. But Wedge is just the perfect kind of skin color. Okay, so I'm going to end up playing with these shadows a little bit more um, just to get a little bit more balance and then I will return. I'm going to take this Lancome pencil And then Revlon's High Definition Pencil in a really lovely blue. I'll try and get that color in the description box for you. And let's take a fine brush. And I'm going to take a little of that Magpie. gel you know it's just sad I just I can't find anything I just had that brush just had it I don't know if it's because it's early in the morning and I'm still not fully awake or what I don't know it's gonna get better okay slanted brush And I'm going to opt out of false lashes. So we're going to take the manga. Okay. 
Miss Manga Mascara. And this mascara gives me an option not to wear false lashes. And I love it. If I can build up about two or three good coats of this, who needs falsies? Okay, so I'm gonna let this coat dry. And let's go ahead and do some contouring. Beauty Treats Matte Blush Collection. This contour is surprisingly nice. Just started carrying these on my site, colorrelation.com. Try that color right there just to see how we like it. Just something soft because these eyes are pretty bright. That's a nice color. Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. Oh, that feels good in the morning. And then we'll come back and get lips. So I'm taking Max Lip Pencil in Cyber World. And then we're taking LA Splash Waterproof Lip Tint Mousse, I believe it is, and Charm. Take another dusting of face powder while that dries. And I'm gonna go over that with just a little bit more. for a clear gloss. I think I use my beauty rush. 
minty lip shine. off for work guys thanks so much for joining me hope you enjoyed the look i'll have the colors in the description box thanks again